So with the head coach of uh, Papakura Sea Eagles, we're um, coming down to the last couple of games of the first part of the round. And um, mate, I know there's been a wee bit of a break on over the Queen's birthday weekend with some of you, uh, with all of the Fox teams, but you had players tied up with rep duties. How have they shaped up after that? Well, yeah, a little bit dusty. Obviously, picked up a couple of injuries, but um, all in all, I think the opportunity to play rep footy has got to be um, beneficial for any any player. And I'm, I'm hoping that uh, today, with the other boys that are still available to play, um, show the, 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 those benefits in terms of confidence, the ability to play at a, at the next level, and um, yeah, see how they go out and, and run out today. Turning attention to this weekend, um, we're back into the into the grind with Fox Footy. Uh, Papakura Sea Eagles up against Otahu today, mate. Have you trained anything different for today? What's sort of the, the plan of attack? Um, no, I think our, our football, what we've been trying to do all year, is you know we, we like to shift it around and, and put some entertainment to it. Um, they have not any different today, albeit they were brought in a few young boys because we have um, accumulated our share of injuries and other things that have um, pushed the side around. But um, on, the, on the, the, the top side of that, uh, whilst it's uh, almost an under-21 side that we're, we're fielding other than Roman and um, Terence, um, the, the experience is invaluable to uh, what they're going to get from it and it will just strengthen our squad uh, moving forward. Awesome mate, and look, and just a little side note, I, I heard today, um, just being given the tip, Graham West is now involved with the club in the under 20s, and that's the footy football just flew past from the reserve yeah, game. Was, uh, probably West is on that issue, <laughs> but um, hey look, uh, exciting for the club, um, fantastic to have someone of his uh, stature involved coaching wise, uh, the 21s, uh, the 20s at Papakura looked a little bit of uh, lost cause early on in the season, during the pre-season, um, he's been able to sort of pull a, a group of band of brothers together and um, field a side, which they got their first win I think last week. Um, exciting for them, and um, I think uh, with their buy this weekend, and the, the, the fact that we've had to um, draw on our reserves, which is, is, is a good thing, um, they were able to draw on those 20s boys and give them that experience as well. So across the board, I think the, uh, there's positivity throughout the club in terms of the Premier Footy. Awesome, mate. Well, look, it's a beautiful day for rugby league. Thanks very much for your time, mate, and good luck for today's match. So with the head coach of Otahu Leopards, uh, Duncan, we're down here, mate, at Papakura Sea Eagles match today. Um, other than, I think, Gumby played a bit of rep football over the yep. over the Queen's birthday weekend. Has the team been mostly rested? Uh, yep, they have. Yep. Yeah, has that been good for you at this time of the uh, competition? Um, well, yes and no. Yes and no. It sort of interferes with a little bit of momentum that we're trying to create. So... Okay, um, uh, coming into this match, have you trained any differently, you know, approaching Papakura coming up? Um, yeah, we have. We have. We're anticipating um, Papakura's versatility, we've, we've worked on, on a few things to try and counter them and, and put us in the same ballpark as them, hopefully. And the main message to the boys for, for today's match? 80 minutes. 80 minutes, non-stop. Yeah. Okay, look, I know you were just in the pre, um, right in the start of uh, warming the fellas up right now, so I appreciate your time, yeah. and, um, and I'll look forward to catch up with your captain at the end of the match, and be best of luck for the rest of the round. Thank you. Here at um, Papakura Sea Eagles versus Otahu, and uh, mate, as we come into this match with the uh, week off, um, how do you think the boys are going to veer up with today's game? What are you looking for? Well, the boys should be good, but I think the pressure's on the, the top three, the Mount Albert, Curras and Corn Sheb to stay undefeated, or they're all in the mix there, so one of them's going to topple over. <laughs> <laughs> and um, just on that, as, as a side note, you know, the Auckland game versus uh, the New Zealand Marys, um, what did that mean to you as a director? Yeah, it was a very successful uh, promotion down there, and uh, you know, all the best for more uh, tours to come up. Awesome. Um, and I also understand you're uh, looking to pick Lone Star of the Round today, mate. Lone Star uh, of the Round. Lone Star of the Round. Um, what are some of the things that you look for in picking a uh, you know, uh, player of the day in a game match? Uh, I think in Odo, Papakura will look for someone with a bit of discipline. Uh, <laughs> she normally applies to your encounters. So. Awesome, mate. Well, look, thanks very much for your time, Ollie, and I'll let you get back to the match about Go. to kick off.
Good to see you of the Auckland Rugby League, John Ackland. Uh, we're at the half-time break. Papakura Sea Eagles vs Otahu, mate. Uh, what are your thoughts for the first half? Uh, it's been a very tough, uh, you know, rugged first half. Uh, you know, Otahu have scrambled well. They've saved, you know, four tries, I think, right down inside their 20 there. They've had, uh, you know, Papakura have had four tries disallowed. And, uh, you know, it should be a good second half. Who's impressing you at the moment, mate? Is it a forwards, backs? Um, you know, uh, like I like the boy playing at right centre uh, for Papakura, like Andrew Tusani, I think his name is. He's, uh, he's been very hard to tackle and he's broken a lot of tackles and you know, made some good passes. Oda who? Who's standing up for you there? Uh, well, I think Aaron Pauley's done a tremendous amount of tackling in the middle and um, you know, Simmer obviously is pretty, you know, he's pretty clever around the middle as well. So. Um, no, 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 you know, the ageless Freddie Tura Fenera is uh, like he always gives it all. Awesome, mate. Well, listen, um, thanks very much for your time, John, and um, catch up with you at the back end of today. Thank you. Take the line off, no shooters! Take the line off, no shooters! Louder! Come on! Stay quick! Gotta put the ball off, too! With the captain of the Otahu team, just uh, finished the um, game of the round down here against Papakura Sea Eagles. First half, let's walk through that. Um, we were doing well, completing a lot of sets. I think we only probably missed about two sets out of the entire half. Did well at the end, um, got up on the score, and then the second half kind of reflected how we played in the second half. I mean, there was a lot of energy, there was a lot of, um, you know, a lot of chat from the Adahu team in that first half. Uh, you guys were definitely dominating. At the halftime mark, what was the chat there with yourself and the uh, coach? More just to carry on what we are doing in the first half. We kind of went away from it because we didn't have the ball too much, and then we are doing a lot of D, which kind of showed, and, and our defence kind of missing a few tackles, which led to some good tries from Papakura. Into the uh, second half there, it still looked like you were in with a, with, with a chance. Uh, what was the chat on the field at that time? Um, we were trying to get to our sets. A, a lot of it broke down a bit, and we kind of stayed in the same section for a few, a few times, because I, I don't think we were in there 20 for many sets. Once we were down there, we almost got a try, but it just wasn't good enough in the end. Marist is uh, coming up for your next round, mate. Is there anything that you're going to be doing as far as the team and the approach for that match is concerned? Probably just try to play for 80, take our 40 from the first half and translate it into the second half as well. All right, mate. Hey, look, thanks very much for your time. I'll let you warm down with the rest of the team and best of luck for the next lot of rounds. Cool, thank you. Papakura Sea Eagles, we just finished the game of the round here against Soda Hoop. And mate, um, been a wee bit of a big week with uh, coming off from rep play over the Queen's birthday weekend. How was it coming into this match? Yeah, uh, yeah, body's still sore and I guess still recovering, but now nah, it's good to, to get back on the ground with, um, with Papakura. Um, half the boys are out, so um, now nah, yeah, it was an opportunity for the young bucks to, to show what they got and um, yeah. Uh, I guess spots up for grabs as well um, this week as well. A couple of the young fellas you mentioned, uh, the winger, I, I like the look of the, the hooker today, mate, he stood up. Um, you know, can you tell us a wee bit about the new guys that you had playing for you? Yeah, um, yeah, a lot of the guys have been in the, um, I guess, in the system for for a bit, and um, I guess with a lot of new players this year, it's an opportunity for for them to showcase what what they've got, and yeah, it's going to be a diff uh, definitely a big push uh, in the upcoming weeks, and yeah, it's going to be interesting, I guess. Uh, mate, um, was there any training that was done um, spe specifically for the Otahu match, or was it um, playing what's in front of you? Yeah, um, I guess this week the prep was um, quite different with um, a lot of the, half the boys going up to, to the Warriors and, and others um, with injuries. Um, I guess, yeah, we did uh, yeah, slightly different training this week, but it was more um, based around the Young Bucks um, this week in opportunity, I guess. So they took the, I, I thought they did really well and grabbed it with two hands and they ran with it. Well, listen, mate, on behalf of the Auckland Rugby League, I'd like to also congratulate you for uh, Player of the Day and um, enjoy your uh, meal at Lone Star, mate, and um, congratulations for the win today and um, best of luck for the rest of the uh, rounds that are coming up for the Fox. Yeah, no, nah, thanks heaps for uh, Auckland Rugby League.